something crap. What can I... What, what should I look at? Oh, should we look at Adelaar? Let's have a look at Adelaar, because I gave it a really bad, really bad review. Um, I didn't vote it design, but I stand by my judgement. I do stand by my judgement. I think there is bits in here that isn't, aren't the greatest. Uh, we'll have a look at the, that station. That station is really nice, but draws direct influence and inspiration from G Wizzes or Intamin 22s, I can't remember who built what in see what Sydney. Uh but it's a nice station, don't get me wrong. I just didn't like how similar it was. Um moving up the lift again. I voted it down because because of the supports were so messy and the fact they got monorail, we got BM track, we got stats track. Um they're not overly realistic but looking at it again now I do like it. I do like it. Uh I don't like this A frame. This A frame here. This one here. Not not good. I don't like that. Um pretzel. Pretzel loop was really over oversized, but maybe it's just me. Um don't know what your guy you guys' thoughts on it are. I didn't notice them. Them for fashion lights. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I just thought we'd have a look at Adelaar, seeing as we were talking about Pirate. I'm going to call him Pirate from now on. Uh, moving on. We'll move down to this section. Uh, I'm liking that planter actually. I didn't realise how good that planter was. I just like this. The the bits that jut out there. I don't like that. But Burger Monster, the Burger Monster is pretty cool. And the restaurant architecture is pretty clean. Um, it is pretty clean and everything. Um, these, these toilets, influence taken from me, I must admit. But, uh, Pirate. Although I like to call him Piero, so I'm going to call him Piero from now on. did acknowledge that, so that's fine with me. Um, and this chair swing, I really didn't like the roof on that. That's really hideous. It's really hideous. But I like how he sunk these fences, and uh, but kept, kept the uh, monorail. I got this. Or on the roof. Black pathing for the roof or black tiling it out. Is the video really lagging today or something? Sounds like this. The out of bounds stuff, yeah, I start, I I'm tooting my own horn here, but I believe I was the first to, well not the first, but I, I did that a lot. Um it's just that Pierre has made it a lot cleaner by fully by not leaving any of the gaps, but if you download, uh, if you download my some of my LL work, uh, it's black tiled out as well. Um, yeah, his foliage, his foliage is pretty good. It's a uh, very dense, very dense. <laughs> I'm allowed to toot my own horn in certain places. I haven't got enough credit for things. <laughs> the foliage, I think the foliage is better than RRP's work. I don't I don't rate RRP's work. Apologies R RRP if you are um, watching this or watching this in the future. But uh, I don't know, everyone raves on about how RRP's foliage is awesome and stuff like that. But I, I don't get it. I don't get it. He uses sunflowers everywhere where sunflowers really wouldn't grow. And stuff like that. And I, I, no, I don't, I don't think it's great. 
I like how he's used these big trees though. The trees to he stacked those trees. That's brilliant. That is. Uh, speaking of uh, RRP, let's uh, let's load up uh, Sea World Atlanta. Because that is something I haven't looked at for a long time. And in my eyes, that is possibly. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. Let's go download it. Let's go download it. Because I think that is possibly one of the greatest. Possibly the greatest. Uh, what's it called? LL Park. That's the one. The greatest LL Park of all time, in my eyes. Uh, I'd almost go to say uh, that it's one of the best parks of all time, both RCT2 and LL, because I think the, uh, the atmosphere in it is something you don't get <laughs> elsewhere. Where the hell is it? There it is, down there. Uh, see you later, uh, Austin. Uh, have fun at Muse. I'd sing some Muse, but I can't remember. <laughs> I like Muse. I can't remember their songs. Not all of their songs, anyway. Um, what am I looking at? I've just downloaded. What have I just downloaded? I've just downloaded. Sea World Atlanta. Uh, guys, if you haven't already um, followed me, uh, if you click follow at the top, that would be great because then when I uh, when I stream impromptu, like I have to done today, you'll uh, catch me. It's because it's off screen. You lose the picture. Yeah, sorry. It'll be blank for a second. Um, where did that go? Apologies, apologies for the blank screen. Yeah, if you click that follow button at the top, and also follow Pacificosa as well, you'll pick up when we're when we're streaming and when we're not. I was just a bit bored earlier and decided to stream, so... Alright, so this is SeaWorld Atlanta. Where's my chat? So, I'll just give you a... I'm not keen on this this music. So. We'll skip that one. Chief Ranger's Carousel. No. We're done now. We're on Storm in the Peacock now. We are, aren't we? We'll skip it. Let's see what we've got. I almost want to say now let's put some detection on, but I don't think we're gonna. We'll leave it. Oh my god, you're not always back on here. <laughs> what? You read this on constantly. Excellent what the fuck are you doing? Oh no, I think, sorry. It's no, it should have skipped. It should have skipped. Yeah, somewhere else. I've skipped your music. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I've... a lake. This is what I was trying to get across yes, uh, earlier when I was building mine. A lake right on the entrance. I love it. Um, and again, docks. This is what I was trying to do earlier, but I didn't have any inspiration for it. So this is what I'm going to take back into my little stream park. Um, but yeah, this entrance, a bit overloaded on the wooden texture, but hey ho, moving around. I don't know if anyone, everyone's seen this in game or not, but I honestly think this is fantastic. Really? Apart from nothing ever seems to go. Let's oh no it is, let's test this fish up instead. 
That's because it's on pause, that would be why. Why do I keep doing that? Hold on tight and prepare for the cyclonic forces of the raging vortex. The cyclonic forces of the raging vortex. We won't spend too long in here. If anyone's got any other ideas over to what we can watch. Oh, hey, Luffy. Um. Yeah, this is not the type of photos that they mean. I know that. <laughs> I think this is one of the best out of all the um, sort of Kraken inspired layouts that you get. I think this is one of the best. Definitely one of the best. Creature. <laughs> this train is definitely amazing. Come on, let's watch this train. Although Posey told me off the other day to watch your trains, so perhaps I shouldn't watch this train. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you get the general gist that this is a pretty awesome layout. It's got that flow. It has got that flow. It's got that flow in the bag. That flow, so, so good. Uh, one move round. Again, I've always loved this. Although it kind of did completely block out that. Oh. Uh, but yeah, great little court coaster. Great little rack as well. I love these big, big ass stadiums with everything. We showed a uh, coin crafts a little late the other day. Um, I don't know whether that picked up on the highlights or what, but yeah, we showed that. And uh, I don't know whether you guys remember that, but it had a funky stadium there as well. Again, I love those stadiums with the path through thing. Um, and yeah, you can see where I got my influence for my uh, Disney a ride in Magic Kingdom. As I took it from this. people chatting or am I losing the chat or what? I think it's pretty dead. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is like the only sort of section that has any sort of a uh, sea world resemblance in terms of exhibits um, around the rest of the park not so much. Again, another big ass stadium. Really like that. Really love it. True Coops isn't here, so of course it's quiet. I miss him. I miss my Coops. Coops was my bra. Speaking of her bra, where's uh, where's Rase? Where is Rase? My bra that wears bras. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh yeah, sure, Lupi turned it across. Um Send it to airtime possibly, um, because then he could put it on the hard drive and I don't have to download it and shit like that. He can download it for me. Um, ah, my bra. Uh, so uh, I'll tell you what else we'll look, see if I've got it. Um, but something that, again, by RRP that and others that I really, really love is. Uh, if I can find it. Amity Cove. Amity Cove. I don't think many people will have seen this in game because because of uh, how unfinished it was. Mm, this isn't the right map, but I'll show you this anyway. I mean, look at that. Like, That's just, where I took the uh, that, idea from. That is I just. Used elsewhere, I think. That is just incredible. That really is just incredible. I love it. I think it was that. Can you clarify, is that some idea? Yeah. Uh, it must be. On the diagonal. Yeah, on the diagonal. Tunnel. So yeah, this is where... 
This is where uh, Airtime took the tunnel idea from. Well. And then Piero took the tunnel idea from Airtime. Well, no, I think a few other people were. Yeah. Again, loving this. This is the launch squiddy. This is, again, brilliant. See, when I look at these parks, it makes me want to uh, start it. Not start it up, but finish them off. Finish them off. Finish this whole amateur project off. If anyone wants to join in, um, I'll set up a collab for them. We can sort it out. Because um, there's just there's just greatness on every single one of these amity maps. Um, go to map two, and again, just pure pure awesomeness all over the place. <laughs> Coops, what up, bra? We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. Again, love that coaster here. With that tower and the drop. Fantastic. I'm just going to show you a little glimpse of each of these Amity maps. Map number three. I don't think map three is as strong as the other maps. No, I was right. It's this map where we had started off this crazy sort of like tar pit idea. You're right, Nin. No one ever makes air powered coasters anymore. I think they're easier to make in LL than they oh, are. What is? As I said, if you haven't been listening, this is Amity Cove. Oh, sorry. This is sorry. map three of Amity Cove. Sorry. I said hello to you, uh, Coops. I said hi, Coops. Maybe you didn't hear me because you were watching an ad. Ads are shit. But yeah. Um, do I have Paramount's Paradise Coast or Sunshine Coast? Maybe. We're looking at Amity Cove for about the third time. We're looking at Amity Cove. <laughs> this is map three. Map two was before that. Map one was before that. Uh, this, this is brilliant. This is one of the reasons why I want to carry on with these Amity projects, because this entrance by Toontowner reminds me of just me. It is, is, is incredible. I mean, shut up. Go elsewhere. <laughs> this is my stream, not your stream. You stick to the chat. Fuck off. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love this map. This map is brilliant. Um, and then just the last map that has the RRP awesomeness on. Uh, map four. Got some Posix in here. We've got some Popo. Instantly recognisable as Popo due to that awesome crazy tile brick combination. <laughs> I love that combination. That combination is one of my favourites. Check it out. We have a top scan. We have a top scan, people. Glad you agree, MA, that the two section is awesome. Uh, again, an awesome entrance. Screams X Sector to me. I don't know whether that's right. I wasn't paying attention to who built on this park, but Screams X Sector to me. But also Screams RRP. Maybe it is RRP. I'm not sure. But look at that. This was done before Codex. And what do we have here? We have raised blocks, people. Raised blocks. Yeah, we're getting to the yellow and blue beamer. This is what I brought you in for. Because this. This is incredible. This is incredible stuff. This right here is, my, I think, my favourite work of uh, LL ever. This this flow, it, this has got that flow and it's also got dino flow it has dino flow we've got seawater flow it has got dino flow right there I know it's a dragon but for the sake of it being fitting into but yeah and look at that beautiful, I don't know whether this is going to work I think it might be stuck in the tunnel right there um, let's see if we can test this. Oh yes, here we go. We have got it running. Is it going to work? I know Postix didn't want me to watch trains and whatnot, 
but this is just too good. Too good to miss. And look at that. Look at that. Straight into the mouth of the dragon. I don't know where it goes now, so I'll we'll leave it for now. But. Oh, you've got lag. That's why I'm not watching the trains. We have lag when we watch the trains. But yeah, that is a. Uh, by RRP. I don't know whether the sculpture is by RRP. The sculpture might be by Coaster Red. Um, sorry about the lag. I apologise. Um, but yeah, that. That is the reason why I fell in love with LL. That right there. And that is why I think RRP is one of the LL greats. A shame he doesn't want to play it anymore and thinks it's outdated. <sighs> oh well. Right, so I believe we have something special. I believe we have uh, something from Loopy. So um, bear with me, the screen might go black. While we. While I get it off the hard drive. Uh, and thanks for the followers. If anyone still needs to follow me, it's um, at the top, the big button that says follow. You'll catch when I'm streaming. Um, just in case I haven't announced when I was streaming like I have done today. Um, next stream is planned for Friday, 9pm GMT. I can't remember off the top of my head what that is in other areas um, but I have written it down in the Twitch TV topic which is, is it this one? Yeah. It's that one. <laughs> Schusler. Yeah I don't get the big deal over Schusler. <laughs> I don't get the big deal over um, FA Coaster Freak either. Um, so we're moving on to loopy stuff now. Um, I'm looking forward to this. This could be good. This could be good. This is SeaWorld by Loopy. Not much there. I'm disappointed. But <laughs> right. No FK don't go. We've got Loopy stuff now. Parked cars. Not sure why they'd be parked at the entrance, but hey ho. Yeah, this is much better in game than it was much better in game than it was on the screens I think it's uh, it's definitely the definitely much better in game I've still got it on pause, that's on pause oh and look at the ducks I love ducks have we still got music on? Or is the music stop? Music, music stop. Let's put the music on. I'm not allowed to put anything on that's gonna come up on anything. What am I gonna put on? Uh, we'll put on the silent music now. How about that? Uh, this is good stuff though. I'm loving the architecture. Um, I think this building here is possibly over-codexed compared to the rest of the buildings. Um, whereas the rest of these buildings give up, give out a really nice vibe, a really nice loopy vibe of where it's the standard LL building combined with little touches of codex which make loopies work fantastic. Um, whereas this building, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know what other people think. Uh, I assume this is going to be ticket booths. And you can slowly little see... You can see little turnstiles in there, I assume. Moving into the park now. Uh, I believe that's going to be an exit. That's going to be an exit there, isn't it? So nicely, ni nice how it's uh, separated off. I like it when people do that. Uh, moving on. 
the whole what have we here? That building, that building right there. That is awesome building. Nice to say. That is a really nice building. I think what what uh, could be improved on that building? I think uh, if you look in dumb place where Ling posted, um, he's hacked in the what is it? The wild mouse, the wooden wild mouse trap in there. Is it that he's hacked in? But it just makes it look amazing. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe think about doing that, Loopy. Um, but that building right there, that is sex. I love I love the statue fences as well. Really nice. Uh, really like this here as well. And the stacked the stacked objects. Really nice again. We'll look at the layout in a minute. I just want to have a look at what else is going on. Oh, I'm really liking that awning that's there. That's really nice. Really nice. Uh, I assume this is going to be sort of some sort of aquarium. Uh, we've got a sign. I like sign. I'll just keep moving around the path. Oh, again, really nice work on the stack fence, stack fences. I've never thought of using them like that. I don't follow like that bitch. Let's be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, underwater viewing area on pool two. Let's have a look at that. Um. Me or can I not see it? Oh, there! Ho oh, ho! Holy shit! What? That! That is yeah. good! That! That is fantastic! Are people seeing that? Because that is incredible! Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Going back to that yellow building, yeah, again, really nice, really nice work. I love this fence down the middle here. Really makes that building. Really makes that building. And I love how you've mixed in the crazy paving, crazy paving, crazy paving, with the tarmac, without having the, without having it messy. All right, see you, Pack. Um, thanks for tuning in. Pack. Bye, Pack. Um, I believe Pack will be streaming tomorrow. So make sure everyone checks that out. Uh, you can find him at twitch.tv forward slash pacificoaster. So uh, make sure you follow him and check out his stream tomorrow. And he'll also be streaming Saturday as well. Uh, still moving on. I like that mantis sign. Um, and now we're kind of looking at, looking at the layout now. Um, really like that tent there. The tent which is used obviously for the lift motor. Really nice work. Only downside to that station is that it's completely rock work and that I've always found it a bit lazy to hide stations in so much land. Probably just me. Um, no, I agree. Po6 does did that a lot with his older parts. Obviously, he hasn't built anything on recently, but it's just about to even mine. But really nice layout, really nice layout. First drop, loop. Oh, then into the animal man. See, that's what I should have done on my part. I'm going to take direct influence from this. Went out and round into a zero G. This is great, and I love how you made it an invert. I love how you made it an invert, not a. Not a flyer. And out of the zero G into the mid course break run. Shit. Then do we go into another zero? That's my only issue. I don't know whether that's meant to be a large court through or whether that's meant to be another zero G. Um, I'll go with hoping that it's meant to be a large zero G. Um, can you clarify that, Luffy? Um, or it's meant to be a large corkscrew or a zero G. Oh, and another zero G. <laughs> Which again, I hope is going to be another large corkscrew. Although going back in the other way. Of course. 
We've got a large corkscrew going one way and a large corkscrew going the other way. Still, hey ho. Really nice layout though. And I love these helixes. I love these final turns. Really nice. That flow, it, it's got that flow. It's got that flow. That flow, so good. So good. Really nice. Really nice, that. That's a really nice part. Oh, we've still got, build, we've got buildings over here. I haven't looked at these. Another sort of uh, pool. Pool viewing there. Again, really nice touch. Really nice touch. And I love how you've codexed the stairs away. Away from that. With the land. I assume this is going to be a water wheel rather than a ferris wheel. Um, <laughs> nice idea, oyster diving. Oyster diving. Yeah, overall that's a really, really nice start to a great part. And I think even if you don't get a chance to finish it all, I think you should definitely finish that, that and turn it into a design. Because that is incredible. Such a nice layout. Great foliage and great colours in the foliage. Really nice layout. I'm really impressed there. Really impressed.